councilors and many others were holding their breath over this decision by the uh, Council on Tall Buildings, which met last Friday to decide if One World Trade is, in fact, 1,776 feet tall, making it the tallest building in America, whether that needle on top was just an antenna and shouldn't count, or a spire and architecturally significant. The council says it understood how symbolic 1776 is, how much emotion and history are wrapped up in the World Trade Center site, and the council chairman says the criteria didn't change. The architecture, the architects, engineers, builders, and academics who make up the committee considered every aspect of the building, and they ruled unanimously that the structure on top it is a permanent architectural feature, and that the beacon, that light on top of the spire, which can be seen up to 50 miles away, uh, echoes the torch in the raised hand of Lady Liberty just across the water. The research and due diligence, the due diligence that I did prior to the meeting was I had to make absolute certain that this building was 1776. I mean, if it was shorter or somehow was being measured improperly, I mean, that, that would have been... Uh, I mean, we wouldn't have been shy to say that. We would have had to have said that. It would have been gut-wrenching, but we would have uh, certainly revealed that. But in the end, One World Trade is now the tallest building in America. The Willis Tower in Chicago is second at 1,450 feet, second tallest in America. Uh, One World Trade, by the way, is not yet complete, so it's not officially on the finished list, but the height is no longer in dispute. Got it. People and we'll start moving in sometime mm -hmm. next year. And the envelope, please. We'll, yeah, right That's on. Rick, good. thanks. That's Rick the right answer. That's right. That's good. That feels right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go.